Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reading Mario EXE. This was a clear pasta suggested by Chicken Fox Soda. Thank you Chicken Fox Soda for the suggestion, I appreciate it greatly. And for anybody else, uh, you could check out Chicken Fox Soda's Instagram where he features a bunch of art featuring uh, Five Nights at Freddy and other Five Nights at Freddy's content. So if you like Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, definitely check out Chicken Fox Soda's Instagram. I'll be putting a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. And again, thank you Chicken Fox Soda for the suggestion. I appreciate it greatly. I really thought it would be a good idea to resurrect my childhood by buying classical games. But guess what? It wasn't. Definitely not. You might be wondering what the hell I'm talking about. I just want to get this over with quickly. I have to hurry. He's coming. It was a fine spring morning. I was looking for a game online called Super Mario Bros. About two plumbers, Mario and Luigi, going on an adventure to save a beautiful princess, Peach, from a monstrous turtle dragon hybrid named Browser. It received very good reviews and I happened to be a big fan of it myself. Unfortunately, I didn't have a working NES anymore. Luckily, I have an emulator, except I didn't have the Super Mario Bros. ROM. I looked on the internet, but I never found it. Damn you copyright for taking them down. I was about to give up hope, except when I found a full long play on YouTube. I saw an ad labeled, Play Super Mario Bros. Online, Download Free. I clicked it, since it was my possible last chance to get the game, and the website said that it had a download of the original Super Mario Bros. for PC. I found myself on a media fire link, with a file labeled Install EXE. I downloaded the installer. Then install it two files via the installer, the game Mario EXE, and a text file, readme txt. I read the text file first and it had pointless information about the game. But when I was about to close the page, I noticed a scroll bar going up and down, which extended the regular page height. At the true bottom of the page were these words. You want to play with Mario EXE? That really weirded me out. Who was Mario EXE? Well, I figured it out when I played it. How I wish I, had, I could have taken that back. The game started out with the regular Super Mario Brothers 1 title screen, except the two player mode was taken out. This made it similar to the Lost Levels, which was one player only. I tried to choose Mario, but the game won't let me, no matter how much I tried. Disappointed, I picked Luigi, but there was this one moment in which the sc title screen changed into something I now consider horrifying. The sky had darkened it, the title block was now stained with blood, and the sky was also a shade of red. Players 1 and 2 were now labeled 1 immortal and two you will die the bushes and mountains were orange and on fire the high score was god 5403 the hud was all black save for the coin label being white copyright 1985 nintendo was now copyright 666 nintendo the world number was e0 and the time limit was labeled time colon kill. The freakiest thing though was Mario himself. His eyes were replaced with two glowing red dots in black sockets and he was in a dark contrast than usual. However, I shrugged this image off as a glitch and forgot about it. The game began with Luigi having five lives. Having over analyzing games and let's plays for quite some time, don't ask. I knew you only had 3 lives at the start of Super Mario Bros. 1. 
This was no glitch. This was a hacked game. Then again, it was an EXE file. So this was a PC port of Super Mario Bros. 1. Or so I thought. Luigi spawned it in world 1 slash 1. Except he was already big and everybody knows that you literally start off small when you start a 2D Mario game, right? Okay. Anyways, the level was normal, but there were no enemies to fight or power-ups to collect. The blocks even acted as if nothing had happened. I also noticed the flagpole came earlier than usual, and the flag itself was smaller. I got a running start, but then Luigi stopped in midair. It wasn't until I saw why. Mario was on the other side of the screen, but his eyes, they were black with glowing red pupils. And, and his spirit was in a dark contrast than usual. He let out an evil laugh and walked over to the castle carrying a torch. He set the castle aflame and all the toads came out screaming and on fire. Suddenly, I screamed myself as spikes began to fall from the top of the screen. A cartoony, slow motion sound effect played as I pressed shift to make Luigi run as fast as he could. And I could run at full tilt for 10 to 20 seconds, just holding down shift and the right arrow key, going as fast as possible. Suddenly, I saw a pipe ahead. I didn't hesitate to enter it. As I did, a message appeared on the screen. Hello Luigi, I want to play with you. The next level was an underground level, world 1 slash 2, but not as I had expected it. It had decapitated toads and the music was a very creepy ominous tune. As I kept going on the first stretch of ground, I saw Mario run atop the bricks above Luigi at a very fast speed. I wonder if he was really there or just a figment of Luigi's imagination. I shrugged it off and kept going. I made Luigi land in the next hall and ahead was a mushroom, which was green. I didn't touch that shit though. Then I saw two of the same mushrooms, then four, then six, then eight. Oh, now you're playing games. I growled as I fell down into the next hall and Luigi landed in a pit of six green mushrooms. Instead of doing the regular death animation, Luigi grabbed his chest and coughed and choked. He then hurled up bile and blood before falling to his knees and dying realistically. A low pitch version of the iconic death music played and I groaned in defeat. Then I realized something. Luigi had extra lives left. Four stock lives to be exact. I was more careful this time and I got past the pit of shrooms and past more poisonous mushroom pyramids. Suddenly, before I landed in the next hall, Mario rushed up behind Luigi. I jumped before Luigi could get hurt. Just as suddenly, spikes shot forward from a purple wall. I wasn't that skilled to evade the spikes and it whittled my lives down to just two. It took a while, but at last I made it past the spikes, thanks to a little glitch I found. However, I had one last challenge to face, and boy, it wasn't pretty. There was only one alive toad, its eyes closed, its back to Luigi. I touched it, and then a fill the meter event happened. After a very scary jump scare, I screamed at it, like most jump scares, and when the fill the meter event came up, I pressed the F key as much as I could before Luigi chopped the toad's head off. As it turned out, the toad was now evil, thanks to Mario. Finally, the exit in sight, I cried with joy as Luigi entered the next pipe. More text came no sooner Luigi had entered the pipe. That which waits for you on the lock will soon leave. Hasten. What the heck does that mean? I thought as Luigi entered world 1 slash 3 
which was a nightmare athletic level. The music appeared to be some kind of distorted 8-bit theme in reverse. When, Luiz when Luigi moved, text would show up. Luigi, I want to play with you. Are you ready? Remember Luigi, when you're in hell, only count on the devil. Don't you see? The devil wants to help you. To your death. I jumped from 3 to 3. The physics were a bit rough and it took me a while but I finally got to a piece of regular land. I reached the castle but instead of a flag there was a text saying look back. Look back at what? I turned Luigi back to the cliff and there stood Mario and Peach. Mario looked back at Luigi laughing evilly. And then he punched the crying princess off the cliff. She screamed in horror before hitting the ground and turning into a bloody mess. Mario then lunged at Luigi, chopping the plumber's head off. I yelped, then groaned in defeat. But then the text appeared on the screen again. You're not finished yet. Four little words made me remember Luigi's last life. I went through the level again, but... When Mario lunged at Luigi, I jumped over him. Mario just marked before running off at his fast speed. I ran after him, but where the look back text was, there were these horrifying words. You're next. I entered the castle, and after getting jump scared by Mario's screaming face, text appeared once more. It has come your turn, Luigi. The castle level was the level name on the title screen, World E0. The music was a few creepy violins playing a deep, haunting melody. I moved Luigi through the castle halls with pentagrams on the walls. And as he did, static started to flicker on the screen. It seemed like the pentagrams were chanting, so it seemed like Mario was manipulating the level to the way he liked it. After a final static screen appeared, which was the longest, blood appeared on the grey floors of the castle. I stopped Luigi in front of Mario, who stood at the end of the hall. I had Luigi run into Mario, but he just vanished into red gas. Suddenly, red clouds started coming at Luigi. The music was now light, faint hissing. I turned to run away but I could re just reach the beginning of that hall. I gave up and turned it but Luigi back going forward. Thankfully, the clouds disappeared, but the worst was about to come. The drowning music from Sonic Colors began playing as Mario then started chasing Luigi, but what was disturbing me was his pose while chasing Luigi. I was horrified. Mario was not running but actually flying. His flying spirit was made very similar to the full speed jump sprint from Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World, only it was just Super Mario 1 Mario and he had the scariest grim on his face, as though he was enjoying the torture he was giving his poor brother as he gained it on him. I reached the end of the hall and just as the music ended, a loud splattering crunch was heard as a blood stain appeared on the screen. After that, it faded to black for a few seconds before the text appeared again. You're dead, pathetic piece of meat. Then, a most unpleasant image appeared on my screen. It showed decapitated corpses of Luigi, Toad, Peach, and Browser, and Mario staring at the screen. Not a hyper-realistic Mario, but a regular 8-bit Mario, but with bloody eyes, smiling evilly. He looked like he loved the torture he gave his friends. His face. Oh shit, he had the most horrifying smile I have ever seen. Even worse than his rape face smile from the commercial for Mario Kart Super Circuit. And that's saying something since I started the damn game.
There was a chorus singing something that sounded like O Fortuna, and the setting seemed to be some kind of cave in red filter. There was also bloody text saying, Game over. I was looking at the image when I realized it right then and there. This Mario wasn't the Mario I knew and loved in the games. This one, a monster. An evil, sadistic monster that had begun to kill everyone. He turned the Mushroom Kingdom into hell itself and his final victims was his loved one, Luigi. Also, the game's name, Mario EXE, was this murderer's name, too. I look at the corpses and I cried a bit. They'd be forever tormented by the horrid plumber, and always will be. Just then, the screen went static, and three lines of Japanese appeared. Since I couldn't speak Japanese, I decided to write it down to translate later. But then the text suddenly flickered and turned it to English moments later. It read, Maybe we can go to hell for what you don't do. Maybe we can go to hell for what you don't know. The end of the case will perhaps never come. The title screen returned, only it was the corrupted split second one, though there were some changes to it. The title now just read Mario, and the second option was glitch text, acrylics, and numbers. One Mario was also replaced by Retne Serp, which was press enter backwards. I wanted to shut the game off, but my whole body felt cold. I felt paralyzed and curious. As it, as it forced, I pressed enter. I wish I hadn't, but I had no other choice. When the game began, I couldn't help but be taken aback by who I was playing as, Mario himself. It was the normal plumber in his classic 8-bit glory. He was in a dark void, a light overlay of white noise in the foreground, and the title was labeled World 6-6. I moved Mario through the void, but I could clearly see his expression get more worried as he moved. I couldn't blame him, I was scared too. Suddenly the black ground turned into a large flickering epileptic spikes striped with pink spinning in opposite directions. Mario now had a frown upon his face, just walking through this void in this, this hell his evil double had created. Suddenly, Mario EXE appeared in front of the real Mario, as if by magic. You! cried Mario through a text box. Hello Mario, smirked Mario EXE. Actually, he didn't have a text box. He actually spoke. His voice sounded cold, devilish. What have you done with my friends? Yelled Mario, again in a text box. Oh, I just murdered them, crackled Mario EXE. No, no, sobbed Mario, falling to his knees. I tried to move Mario, but he didn't move. Suddenly, Mario EXE stabbed his hand right through Mario's body, tearing out the guts inside. Mario was screaming and sobbing, coughing up blood. I couldn't stand to watch, so I covered my eyes like it was. When the screaming stopped, I removed my hands from my eyes. A black silhouette of Mario, but with two glowing red eyes, was now in the background. The dead Mario and Mario EXE were gone. The text, the end, was on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. The game closed by itself. To hell with that game, I actually shouted. As I returned to my desktop, I deleted both files and emptied the, my recycling bin. I was pretty mad at Mario EXE killing my childhood idol. Later, I then tried looking online again. At last, I found Super Mario Bros. Rome. 
I didn't notice anything off until I heard a voice from behind me when I beat the first stage. Thank you so much for playing my, uh, game, Dave. I turned around, slowly, and what I saw made me scream. There was the twisted, demented Mario EXE staring at me, a white grin up upon his face. He lunged at me, and then everything went black. Now I am to be trapped in a world which I can't escape. His world. I sent this to warn you of his presence. If you download a game called Mario EXE, don't play it. He will get you and he will kill you. Sorry, type fast because he, he's here now. Goodbye reader. Thanks for reading. Just so you know, this isn't Dave. Don't worry about him. He is mine now. Dave is now dead. I killed him. I also killed my brother. And all my other friends. Guess what? You're next. <laughs>